Hi, my friend. My name is Chad Reyes. I am the co-founder and chief visionaire over at Lions Pride Leadership. And today I want to speak to you about when a community comes together, the benefit for everyone involved. You know, uh, this month, in the month of June, on June 17th, Lions Pride Leadership is, uh, is spearheading a, uh, an initiative on Staten Island called the Staten Island Rising. And you know, my wife and I and my partner John, we, uh, we really were thinking about how can we encourage a community right now that is really going through so much? You know, we're, we're dealing with the impact of COVID-19. You know, uh, I, I sit on multiple boards. Uh, I'm on the board of our local chamber of commerce uh, and others. And, and I see the impact that's happened to businesses. I've seen the impact that's happened to families. You know, one of the things that was so hard for me when I found out news in our own office building, the gentleman who would come in every night and clean uh, he passed away, and he became a very dear friend to my wife and I, uh, and and just very, just really, cher I really cherished and valued it. That I remember when I got the news that night, I literally started tearing up and crying um, because we had lost this gentleman, and and I just, I, I'm thinking, well, Chad, if that's one person, how many thousands of those types of relationships perished during this uh, pandemic? And then you know, uh, then we then we see what's going on with the riots, uh, and it 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 really it, it grabbed a hold of my heart. And one of the things that my wife and I have a real heart for is to make an impact in our local community. And um, those of you that are watching this, you may be all over the nation, you may be in different parts of the country, you may be not even in the United United States, you may be in another nation. I want to encourage you to be uh, salt and light. To 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 really stand out when times like now happen. Because I believe this, I believe that when a leader stands up, others have the courage to do so. And one of the things that we wanted to do for our local community, because my wife and I have lived in this community for most of our lives, is we wanted to put together a, uh, an online summit, but an online summit that would encourage people, would, would pour into them, would develop them, would equip them, and give them some of the tools that they may need to get through these tough times. But that wasn't enough. That was the one part of it. But this is where the community partnership and coming together is so important. We worked with our local not-for-profit association in our community, and we were able to put together a movement to be able to work so that we can use this online summit, the Staten Island Rising Summit, to reach their not-for-profits because, you know, many of those not-for-profits had their, their funding cut. Listen, many organizations, businesses lost tremendous amount of revenue, not-for-profits lost, had, you know, um, their budgets cut. But the thing that I realized was this, is that all of us, all of us wanted to help. But how do we help? So what we did was, and, I, and I'm encouraging you, you could do this in your local community. You know, we're doing it in Staten Island, but you could do this in anywhere you are. We put together a couple of other organizations. We partnered with a production company. We partnered with a, a website development company. And we said, okay, how can we put this together and reach our community? We partnered with a not-for-profit association. And we said, how do, how do we reach our community and impact them and, and raise funds for these not-for-profits that do so much amazing work throughout the year and that now may be having you know, an impact to their budget, may have to let go people or drop some of their services and, and programs? Well, what we did was we partnered with them and we said, okay, together we can multiply our influence, together we can multiply our impact, and together we can make Staten Island rise again. That's the key. The key is not for us to do it individually and try to take all of the glory and all of the honor and all of the, uh, of the, uh, the lights. The key is, is to invest in a community so that we can see a community thrive. And I want to encourage you that you should do the same. Why can't you partner with some of your local organizations? Why can't you partner with your Economic Development Corporation and your Chamber of Commerce and create some form of summit in your community and, and then do it and raise funds for those local not-for-profits? And, and literally, listen, you're either part of the problem or you're part of the solution. And I want to encourage you, leaders find solutions to problems. And, and when problems arise, leaders stand up and they take the stand. You're a leader, my friend. I believe in you. We believe in you. We know that you have so much inside, and we want to encourage you in this time, in what's going on right now in our nation more than ever before, be a leader. Be salt and light. Stand out. Encourage those people that you're around. And you want to know what? Remember this. My, my friend and mentor said this. 
John Maxwell, he said that one is too small of a, gr- too small of a number for greatness. You see, what my wife and I and my partner John could have done on, uh, with this rising summit is this much in comparison to all the people that we're working with. What we did is we multiplied impact, we multiplied influence, we multiplied networks. And God willing, on June 17th, we're going to multiply the financial impact for these not-for-profits. So I want to encourage you. You could do the same. I promise you we're not that good. I do promise you this. I promise you that if you step out, if you have the faith to step out into uncharted waters, I promise you, you're going to have people that come and want to be attracted to your message. You know, we had a coach many years ago that said this. He said, Chad, your message either needs to repel people or it needs to attract people. And what we did with the Staten Island Island Rising Summit is we attracted the people that want to make an impact. That yes, they care about their families, they care about their businesses, but they truly care about making an impact in the community in which we live and in which we serve. So my friend, I'm encouraging you, have that courage, step out. You see, whether or not you're a person of faith or not is totally irrelevant in this conversation, but I want to let you know this, that when you step out, you give God room to operate. And we're seeing a tremendous impact in our community. You know, um, on this rising summit, we're going to have a message from the John Maxwell Leadership Foundation. And that message is going to talk about how, because we stepped out, they saw our heart, they saw our dedication to our community. And John Maxwell, which is a global leadership guru and icon, him and his team are going to be coming to Staten Island to make community transformation in our very own island. Why can't that happen in your island? I believe in you. You believe in you. Step out. So my friend, as I'm wrapping, when you take your influence and you take your leadership and you partner it with others' influence and their leadership, and then you bring networks together, oh, and by the way, social media can be used for good. The same way we see what's happening right now out there with social media and people spreading lies and things that are happening that aren't necessarily happening, well, we have the ability to use that same tool for good. I want to encourage you. Put an organization together. Get a summit together. Go in your community. Raise some funds for people that are doing some good things. And I promise you, you'll be the solution to the problem. My friend, we believe in you. Until next month, God bless you. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.